present and today I have a project. It's not a big project, but it's a little, little project. Everything I got is from Dollar Tree and stay tuned and we will be right back. Okay, so we're back and when I got, I'm going to bring you down so you guys can see. I bought this bucket. I liked it. It's a dollar twenty-five at Dollar Tree. There's a sticker. The thing got bent a little bit, so I kind of had to shape it back. I don't know how it got bent, but it did. Anyway, so I'm going to make a little um, flower thing for my middle of my kitchen table. And I got a lot of fall leaves. And let's see. Uh, I got these flowers. Got some of those. And I got some of this grass here. I've had it for a little bit. I just haven't done it. Been too busy or too lazy, one or the other. And then I have this red one, which one fell off. So I'm going to have to try to put it back on and stick it on somewhere. Oh, I see where it went. Oh, right here. Let me just stick it on that. Hopefully I can. Yeah, I should be able to. I don't know. There. There you go. So you just stick it on there. A little flimsy, isn't it? Anyways, we're going to cut this open. I got some foam, all from Dollar Tree. We're going to cut this open. I think what I'm going to do is cut it. Is this whole thing going to fit in here? Oh, it will. Hmm. All right. I might not have to cut it. All right. Let me see. I only got this one. The other ones I wanted, they didn't have. Uh, so I got this one. Stick the flowers in. So I got this and just stick it in there. I'm going to take these little doodads off because we got lots of those. And um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to do that and take them all off and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I'm back. I got all those things off. Now we're just going to see how to put them in here. Just stick them in the hole. And do I want to cut them? No, I really rather not. These are long. Look how long they are. They're really long. Let me put them in there. I wonder if you bend them. I really didn't want to. If I don't use the foam, then they're just going to move around. I don't know. Maybe I should cut it. Yeah, it has a seam right here so you can bend it and cut it. I probably could just cut it. I don't have cutters, but I have scissors. There. See? And just cut it. Make it better. There we go. A little bit shorter. Yeah. Alright, so that's what I got there. And you just put them in the way you want. Any way you want. So. I kind of um, decorate for um, fall, not for really Halloween. Um, because we don't really get a lot of kids here. Um, we haven't. I've gotten a few, but not too many. I'm doing the back here so you guys can see. Um, there you go. See, that's kind of the back. And then I'll probably, well, it doesn't really matter. I can turn it around any way I want. So we do it that way. And I'll just put them in here. I'll probably cut this one off too because this one was really long. So it's just. We're at the seam here, and you can just bend it. If you got snips, you can get it. But um, you can really just bend it. So there you go. <coughs> just bend it. So I don't know what way I'm going to put this. Right this way. Yeah. Mm. 
I don't think I'll put them in the front though because they're they're long. Even with them halfway cut, you know, they're long. And yeah, I never know how many to to put in here. <coughs> but it looks cute. And it'll be it's really easy, you know, it's something simple, fast to do. If you want to do this for Thanksgiving, you know, to put in your thing. I have some moss, so I'm going to get it. I'm going to put it on the top so it doesn't move around. It looks a little bit prettier. Okay, guys, I found my moss. I bought this at Walmart, and I have plenty, so I might as well use it. Oops. Yep. Making sure the mic's on. I turn the camera off every time and I have to make sure the mic's on because it shuts off. So you just take some of this moss here and get it apart. It needs to come apart here. Don't use the whole thing. Don't need to. I have to cut it. Maybe cut it? I don't know. I just peeled it off for the one video I had, I swear I did. Maybe I have to cut it. And this is kind of rustic. It's brown. It's not the green. So I kind of make it rustic a little bit. I think it'll make it look a little nicer. And I'm just going to turn it around. And uh, yeah, just peel it off and stuff it in here. That'll keep it sturdier too. And it'll look cute. Um, yeah, it's a very easy project. But just in case you wanted something for Thanksgiving for the middle of your table and you don't want to be too fancy, but just something there, you know, you can always, this comes with a twig in here. I don't know if I really need the twig, but um, yeah. And you just stuff it in here. It's okay if it, you know, it comes out a little bit. I think it makes it, yeah, so it's not wobbling so much. Ooh, what a mess. Yeah, I just cleaned up a mess to make a mess. So, there we go. And just pile it in there. Very simple. I might use this up for this. That's okay. You know. You can put it in between too. So if you, you see the foam. And you don't want to show the foam. You don't have to. You know what I mean. Just put a little bit in there. I see that. I can see the foam. So I put some down in there. Just to kind of make it look a little nicer. There you go. That's pretty much it. That is an easy project. So let me get rid of this mess and we'll come back and I'll show you the whole thing. Okay guys, so there you go. That's it. As simple as that. It only took me a few minutes, so if you want to make several of them, it wouldn't take you too long if you want to put them on different tables for, for, thank, um, for Thanksgiving and stuff. Or just around the house you know put them on a different tables through the house and you can you can play with these once you put them in and spread them apart a little bit more if you want or you can keep them all bunched up together so I'm gonna put that in the middle of my table and I will show you what it looks like okay guys there you go it is really cute I like it a lot and it says, autumn days are the best. That's what it says. So it's really cute. I like it. And there you go. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. So, anyways, that's that's it of the project. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a very quick one. Um, you know. But it's a, a, a pretty one, I think. Anyways. Um, what else is going on? Well, Shaber had his 
had his surgery, as most of you know, that will follow us because he did a thing on his channel. Um, he did well. He's done doing pretty good. He's getting bored because he doesn't want to stay in bed. He doesn't have to exactly stay in bed, but he can't go out and get it dirty or um, sweat on it. So he has to stay in air conditioning and stuff like that. And, and because, you know, the rain and all that, he hasn't been, there's no reason for him to go outside right now anyways. So he playing games on his computer and watching TV and sleeping. So, and he's, the hospital says two weeks, but the surgeon said a week. So I think a week is enough for him. It looks really good. Um, I just have to apply some Neosporin on it and, and that's it. So that's all right. My mom is doing fine. She, she's sleeping right now, having a nap. And uh, yeah. So I think things are getting back to normal a little bit. We have had a busy, busy week, a um, month, oh my God, a summer, a whole summer. So I think it's kind of slowing down a little bit now. And we have doctor appointments. Shea Bear has a doctor appointment to see this week. I have one this week and my mom has therapy people and a doctor coming this week. So this is gonna be another busy week. Yep, when you retire, or you become disabled, you live for the doctors. It's unbelievable. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I got Timu stuff coming, but I don't know when because of the hurricane. You know, I really don't know. It, they, a lot of my stuff is still at customs, and it's been there, and it's coming out of Miami. So, um... And with all this storm and stuff, a lot of damage happened. A lot of places were really harmed. We were not. We were very, very lucky. I count my blessings. Um, you know, it, we could have been just as bad as some of these homes that are destroyed and flattened. And I feel bad for everyone um, that was involved in that. You know, it's hard to pick up your life. It's hard. To, life is hard enough to to try to have to go through all of that again, especially when you're older. And um, it's just too hard sometimes. I get it. So anyways, I hope everyone is doing well and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Monkey says she's out and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.